Atmos TV Entertainment with our brand. Welcome to another interesting, exciting episode of Enola Badmos TV Vox Pop. My name is Bisola Day, but you know you can call me Lady B. And we're in the city of Lagos. I always enjoy talking to Lagosians because Lagosians are very, very entertaining. They have that vibe of, I don't talk on. Now me talk on. I do my house. And you know, it's always very, very entertaining. And I'm sure you're always entertained too. And today, I'll be asking Lagosian, what do you think about domestic violence? I know sometimes women can be bullied too to men, you know, they are always very dominant. But today we're talking about why men, they always beat women. Let me just break it down. Why we say some man, they beat their woman. Why? Why? So that's the question I'll be asking Legosians today. Before you tell me your own opinion, let's hear what Legosians have to say. Follow me. Sorry, sir, what's your name? My name is Pastor Basanoka. Pastor Basanoka. See, we have a good citizen here. We have a face mask here. I'm a bad citizen. <laughs> so, sir, please, what do you think is the major cause of domestic violence? Why some men beat their women? Uh, some of these uh, things could be as a result of lack of discipline from the man. Lack of discipline from the man when he's not disciplined, he doesn't know that the wife is a helpmate, not a slave under him. He's supposed to treat her equal with himself as he regards himself. That is the same thing he will also regard to his wife. Therefore, because he lacks that respect and the fear of God, the, the man lacks fear of God in him. Because if you have the fear of God, you will not touch your bone, the bone of your bone. Are you getting me? And if you, if you are disciplined from your home, in fact, it will, it will remind you that I should not lay hand here, you should not lay your hand on their wife. So you understand. So these are some of the lack of fear of God, indiscipline at home, and the, grow, and the environment the person grew. Possibly the person saw when the father was beating the mother. Do you understand? So he want to replicate what he saw. So most of this thing is as a result of you know, the way you grow from home. So you understand. So these are some of the costs. And do you think there's anything that can do to it to be stopped? Like, yes. up the land? Yes, there's something can be done. The only thing that can be done, I know, is when everybody realize that the fear of God, have the fear of God, knowing who God is, knowing the things, the do's and the don'ts of God, that the moment you give your life to Christ, you understand? and you begin to grow from there there is this tendency of yes god say i should not they understand so you replicate it at home ladies and gentlemen hi what's your name alia sorry alia and i call you alaja <laughs> So Alea, so what do you think is the major cause of domestic violence? Why do you think some men beat their woman? Sometimes the woman may be wrong. That's why the man has to beat the woman. So we women, sometimes we used to have sense. But sorry, we don't have sense of types. So in such situation, would you advise a woman to walk away from the marriage or the relationship? For my own advice, I would just advise her to be careful and to think about what she's doing. That's my we have a sister in, in a domestic violence um, situation. You tell her to just keep praying. It's out of hand. Our advice is to just walk out of the marriage. All right. Thank you for talking to me. Good afternoon, sir. What's your name? Yes, my name is Eliezer Enune. Eliezer. Okay, Eliezer, please. What do you think is the major cause of domestic violence? Why do some men beat their women? Because they feel that um, the woman either is lazy, she does not do what she ought to do, or somehow maybe the woman is wasteful. 
uh, then the man might be, begin to either beat her or she she talks too much, uh, like she insults him at any slightest uh, uh, wrong doing. No men have their ego. If they make a mistake and uh, a woman just talks to him anyhow, in, in the bit to correct him, in quote, and the man might just get angry and then uh, and then beat him. And, uh, and that thing is drunkenness. Maybe the man could be drunk. Uh, but do you think that's a better way to correct your woman, beating her? Do you think that's a better way? No, that is not. That's not a better way. The, uh, uh, the, the man should first of all talk with her and try to know why she does what she does. If that method could not go, she he, he might look for a mentor to her who can talk to her and she will understand. There are so many ways. So for you now, the main cause of violence is the woman because the woman is always misbehaving. That's why the man beats the woman. Yeah, the majority cause of violence is the woman. What's your name? My name is Amina Tsadedeji. Sorry, what did you say? Amina Tsadedeji. Oh, Amina, so please, what do you think is the major cause of domestic violence? Why do you think some men beat their woman? Hmm. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I don't know I do do you think the woman is the main cause or the man? What do you think is the main cause of the um, domestic violence, the man or the woman? Some woman will let um, the man to make any um, action and anything. When some woman you know, will let that woman to be angry and anything, maybe... Sir, please, what's your name? My name is uh, name is Samuel. Okay, so Mr. Samuel, please, what do you think is the major cause of domestic violence? Why some men beat their women? Well, um, there are so many reasons, but for the prevailing time, we could talk of the economic crisis in the home. Uh, money is not coming in, and uh, it's biting hard on the man. Again, another one could be the result of um, the origin of their marriage. How do they meet? What is the background of the person, the man or the woman? Uh, marriage is for the matured. It's not for babes. Somebody who is matured physically, yes. Somebody who is matured financially, yes but also somebody who is matured spiritually or emotionally. If you are matured physically by age, all right, but age may not help you so much in marriage. You need to be matured because marriage is ordained by God. So when you veer out of the basic tenets of marriage, you are going to have problems. You know what they say? When Initial truth is forsaking errors to multiply. When you marry a woman, for example, who is of easy virtue, no matter whatever you provide, it's not going to be okay. So somehow you find yourself, a woman you also marry that has value for herself, but you, the man, you don't have value for yourself. So you can easily treat your woman anyhow. But if you have integrity, you have value for yourself, and you have value for your wife as a joint head, as the Bible would say, as somebody who knows that this person I'm married to, two of us are one body. It's not possible for you to beat your own body as a man. Because that's what if you are beating your wife, who is part of you, your own body, you are sort of, sort of beating yourself. And it's not natural for somebody to begin to be, except it's a case of insanity. Somebody who is sound in mind cannot raise up his hand to beat his wife. Irrespective of the circumstances, the prevent, I mean, whether it's sociological, whether it's emotional, whether it's spiritual, for you to raise your hand and beat your wife, you are guilty. You are, it is wrong 
on his own. But for whatever reason, you don't have to beat her. But there could be some reasons that could necessitate that. But the only thing that you be matured, both physically, emotionally, to know that my wife is not to be beaten. It's not an animal, it's not a beast. It's subject to error, it could make mistakes, you could correct. And you are, not, it's, you are not from the same womb, you are not from the same household. You were not brought up from the same environment. So there will be divergent of attitude and attitude, character, sort of things. So, but once you are able to study yourself, understand it, more so marriage that is devoid of the presence of God is not bound to make it. Yes, but once God is not in that marriage, that's what Bible talk of. Marriage is for two people, man and wife. But the third party in that marriage is God. It's between man and God, but it's a covenant between man and God. That's man in terms of humanity, talking of the man and the wife. The two will be one, and God joining. So that's why marriage is, uh, uh, I mean, instituted by God from the beginning. And if you now did not bring God into it, you are going to miss it. Because God is author of marriage, he has a blueprint. If you think you can do it because you know how your father did or your, or your friends are doing it, you are likely to miss it. Hi, what's your name? My name is Abibat. Abibat. So Abibat, what do you think is the major cause of domestic violence? Why do you think some men beat their women? Sometimes men beat their women, maybe. If the man is drunk, or if the woman to behave abnormal, if the man, maybe the man say do this, do that, and the man, the woman did not obey, so the man have to beat him. But it's not good for men to be beating women. Sure. In such situation, would you advise the woman to walk away from the marriage or the relationship? It depends on, it depends on the man. Sometimes that woman that if your husband is beating you, that it, it depends. Good afternoon, sir. What's your name? My name is Aro Ilimobayo. Sir? Aro Ilimobayo. Okay, Aro. Mr. Aro, please, what do you think is the major cause of domestic violence? Why do you think some men beat their women? Uh, we have many reasons. Uh, presently in the country, um, the financial aspect of it. Because of the economic situation of the country, some men cannot meet the, the, the women's demand. As a result, uh, of that, so women may not understand the situation at hand. So they will try to sort it out with their husband in a violent way. So it can resolve. For instance, somebody who has gone to work this money and on coming back has not at hand, you are now forcing him to bring out what he doesn't have. So it can lead to violence. That is one. Secondly, some women they are very arrogant. Especially where some women are more, uh, they, they possess uh, financial, uh, they have, uh, their financial status is better than their husband. They try to be, to prove, to be the master of the house. Whereas Bible told us that man is the head of the family. So some men will not take it from them. That is another major reason. Then thirdly, some women, they move with bad gang, group. For instance, maybe you are as you are, your husband is earning uh, little and is giving you what he has, but you have a friend who is receiving more or much money from the husband. Now telling me, ah, my husband gave me uh, 1,000, uh, my husband gave me 2,000. You don't think about the financial status of the husband of your friend. Now you want to force your husband to do the same thing. That can lead to domestic uh, violence. Then, in experience, among men and women, you see there are, uh, uh, especially men, you know, for you to be the husband of a woman, you have to accommodate many things. You know, at times when women provoke you, eh, it can lead to violence, but you have to apply wisdom. That, okay, this is a woman, the weaker says, 
then you grow certain things and you let certain things go like that. Likewise, some women, some women, they are the, the age at which they marry, they have never got to that uh, level. The maturity is still there. So, these are some of the reasons. So, in a situation of domestic violence, would you advise a woman to walk away or she should pray or she should just keep? Uh, what will happen is that for those women who, are, who want to stay, because we have different types of women, some will like to stay with men, some prefer to stay alone, but for those who have um, the plan of staying with men, you have to endure certain things, understand certain things, understand the condition which you find yourself, then, and if a woman continues to cause problems for the man, then you can seek the advice of counselors. So that is it. I don't advise women to pack out. Because let me tell you the fact. Most men are not ready to marry nowadays. Because of the economic situation. When you have a child, you leave your husband to you know, you pack out. Who is going to marry the woman? Men will just be using you and be dropping you. So it's not advisable for any woman. You have to endure and look unto God for other things. From Legations, what they have to say about domestic violence. Like I said, talking to Legations is always very entertaining. Now you can drop your own opinion under the comments box. This is the part I have to sign out, but don't forget to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend. You all to keep watching. Stay subscribed to Eniola Badmos on TV. You know we love to keep you entertained. Till I come your way next time, stay blessed, stay happy.